Hello and welcome to episode 23 of our Orden campaign. In the last episode, we focused on some conquests here in Aelin here, taking large swaths of land up in the north and then also moving down into the south, trying desperately to connect our land up, uh, as that will make all of these wars much, much simpler for us. But unfortunately, uh, Stanry Harda still holds some land that we need. Uh, today's mission is going to be more expansion here in Aelin Tier, but also against Marhold, because our truce is up in two years. So we will be able to take the rest of the Deep Woods provinces off of them. Now, I was looking at the mission tree between episodes, and we are going to need to repick probably expansion ideas and grab that first colonist to recolonize uh, Veer Cores, because that is necessary for us to hold for the mission. So that's kind of unfortunate that we have to retake it, but uh, we're not too far off of uh, grabbing these idea groups, so that is good news there. Uh, we are also going to need to go to war with these folks right here. We're going to go to war with the Obsidian Legion. And interesting enough, there's no mission that requires us to take these couple of provinces that Virko Kozanad holds. Now... I probably still want to take them, as I feel like that makes sense. But boy oh boy, that is not going to be an easy one. Also, that is a 32 development gold province. Wow. That is nice. That is very, very nice. Oh my goodness, and Dame's Tier right next to it? Free dev, but uh, you know what? Dame's Tier is Dame's Tier. Uh, to start off here, let's go ahead and get some new rivals. Busalar and Keterada seem fair enough. Make sure we are converting. Uh, national decisions we can build the cliffs of ruin passage so the huge crater in the middle of alentir constitutes a daunting natural barrier its rim known as the cliffs of ruin can only be climbed through perilous natural paths or with the help of a pulley system the construction of which requires days to make neither of these solutions is practical for constant trading or for the passage of armies by pooling enough resources we will be able to build a passage that will greatly ease travel from up and down the cliffs and we will be the sole masters of it. So it will be 800 crowns and we'll start the construction. Um, okay, well, it's not working. So maybe we have to hold both sides at some point? I don't know. We will get there. Okay, uh, what do we need to do here? Well, we have a truce with Maliknar until 1667. So we'll go into that war at the same time we are at war with... Uh, good old Marhold. You have tributary states, which is fine, and you are still yeah, more than one war. Good. Archers with you, we have none. Okay. So maybe we go with these guys right now. Yeah? That makes sense. I don't really want to wait two years. Uh, as long as you don't have cores anywhere, you don't. And I feel confident going at them, especially while they have zero allies. Now, I also have a claim down here in the Vanbury Guild. How many troops do you have? 12,000. And we have about 20,000 here and enough ships to get them over. So I think what we do, we go to war with Stanry Harda. We go to war with the Vanbury Guild. When our truce is up, we go to war with Marhold. And we go to war with Maliknar. It's going to be uh, quite the exciting episode, it seems. Uh, let's... Okay, so these guys are part of the nation that we just annexed so they should walk back down into that territory so we shouldn't worry about them too much uh we can hire another general let's do so Ooh, yes please i will gladly take a four siege general absolutely thank you very much and of course we have our heir quote unquote he'll never take over but uh he is a general these guys come together they can get rid of this uh Bog of War, and then I think we will be good to do a starter on up with an instant declaration. Holy War, yes. Drop down to speed four, as I don't know where their large stacks are. Uh, money. We are trying to scale up our economy, and I think we're honestly, we're good on that for now. Obviously, I mean, you can't have too much, but I want to build more land force limit. Really important that we increase that for the fight against the inevitable uh, Orban Coalition. And by coalition, I guess in this case, I just mean their huge alliance block that the dwarves always seem to form. 
Which, I mean, it makes sense. They're same culture and such, so they do have a, uh, more, a higher likelihood of allying each other. Okay, you guys, let's get you grouped up and send you in. I, our troops are good, but I don't know if they're that good. I'd rather not test the theory. That is a level 5 fort. Uh, with 4 siege and a lot of cannons, we should, yeah, get through that pretty quickly. I will also just barrage it, just to be safe. Now, yes, that's what I was waiting for. If they separate out, then I will gladly go at them. That is a bit of a foolish move for them to do. Are you really gonna... Okay. Well, that 1k is dead. Yeah, look at that. That was level 5 for absolutely obliterated through. Uh, we'll go ahead and burn it, and we'll go up for this next fort. What we want from them is a border. Oh my goodness. They have so much development. <laughs> wow. Okay, so there are mission tree things that we need to take from them, and there are also like practical war things that we take from them. Let's see, so Winds of Magic, that's up in there. We can deal with that. Claiming titles. I need these two provinces, at least. Uh, so let's not take those. Then we can go ahead and take what we need. I also want uh, a connection down here. That way I can walk my troops back and forth. Then I would like to try yes, and get a border with West Tipney on two sides. I think that is good. We'll just take whatever we can. Yeah, 100% war score. We'll definitely get the 100% war score that we need. It's just uh, a matter of waiting. Hey, if you want to come stack wipe your troops, I am more than happy to do that. Oh, you got away. Come on. Uh, let's meet them. Because they added a general, it won't be a stack wipe anymore. But hey, you're being difficult, man. Could get him here. Uh, yeah, we'll be all right. Okay. Here we are. No longer. Uh, rushing forward. This is a farmland. Learnings of an Elder. I will take the admin ideas, or the admin points, thank you. These 32 can start sieging down here, and I think that is the war. Yep. We are very, very strong. Be another stack wipe, bringing them to uh, low enthusiasm already. <laughs> and it has not been that long. It has been started in 1665, so probably just a couple months. Very good kind of access. Uh, tech. Yes, we will take Diplotech. We are all caught up on tech. Very, very nice. Is there anywhere we need to do more development? Like, anywhere specifically? Uh, no, we got all of those done. Do I need development in... No, I do not. I can just develop wherever I want. Which means we develop wherever it's cheapest. And where it's most effective. I don't actually know how this works. Local manpower value, so I guess it's just what gives you the most manpower out of each click. I know, I could min-max it and like figure out which is like really the best and how much I'm going to get out of it. I don't want to. <laughs> like That seems like a lot more effort than it's worth at the moment. Uh, let's get you to wipe them. Ooh, you're also sieging pretty fast. That's because you have 12 cannons. Rebuilding all their troops. Take it. Oh, I swear if they get this on a 7%, I'm going to... Yep. I love this game. I love EU4. It's great. I, I love sieging in EU4. There's nothing better than watching the AI get the 7% sieges while you're sitting on a, 50, or a 49%. It feels good. It feels good. Look, I know they don't actually have any bonuses. They're not like a lucky nation or anything. Still feels bad. Still feels like the AI is cheating. Always will. Yeah. What's up? I'll stay in that fight. What are you going to do? Beat me? Uh-huh. That's what I thought. Get out. Wow, we absolutely rolled them there, actually. They took way more than double our number. Well, not way more, but they took about double our number. Meanwhile, we are just sieging down the south. And we are going to be successfully uncovering all this land from the fog of war. Uh, now, with one of our little spy spies here. Let's go ahead and build on Xanlib. I want to steal this map and this map. That way I can actually take this land when I want to. 
Uh, let's make sure we are also in a position to go at Marhold, who is absolutely getting obliterated by rebels. Absolutely obliterated by them. Uh, they did not do very well after we beat them in a war. They absolutely fell apart, which I think is hilarious. Yeah. They did not uh, have a great time. We can also we can speed five for this now. I also totally forgot to go to war with uh, the Vanbury Guild. Totally, totally forgot. Let's send you over. Decadence comes with age, and it's the losing money one. Are we going to lose twelve thousand crowns? <laughs> no, we only lost. We only lost nine thousand. It's all good. It's all good. I right, declare war for my claims. Let's call in Rogeria. Not because I need their help, because I want them to go siege down Telgir. Otherwise, we'll just be in this war forever. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, I appreciate you uh, giving me all of that loan because my ruler is old. And because they're old, then obviously we must waste money. Otherwise, well, well that wouldn't make any sense. Hey, could you not do this, man? Like, this is why nobody likes you. This is why I have to take you out, because you're being annoying. You guys move on through. Oh, this is already built right here. Interesting. They didn't even uh, throw a fort down on it, which is not necessarily the best life move. Hey, they didn't win that 7% that time. Now let's march up there just to make sure they're not able to sneak that siege in. What are you doing? Okay. Keep on going forward. This should be a wipe, most likely, if not just a very strong show from our troops. Yeah. Not a wipe, but very strong. Because they're cannons, that's why we're not wiping them. They have too much damage in that first fire phase and they are living. We are 99% war score, so we can take whatever the heck we want. Um, unfortunately, it seems they did some development. We don't actually need that. Let's check again for the mission what exactly we need. Uh, I'm going to have to scroll back up here to the claiming titles. But yes, we just need those two because we already own one of them. I don't have to take this, and instead I can take a lot down here. Yeah? Yeah. That makes sense. Now they have no forts. No... Oh, actually... Um, how do I make that work? I can drop you... What? How much war score? Six. I have... Six. Hello? I know I'm not great at math, but uh, I'm pretty sure I have the war score for that. Whatever. We'll just take what we can right there. Take 68 ducats and pull them out. I don't think they will be a threat at this point. So, claiming titles. The Dolandons and Sarda obsess over attaining ever greater prestige, joust war, and even the occasional non-hostile action. Truly, these Ruinborn are just a running satire of the Dirk the Dirk Tehran or El Kosi champions. But this is no jest. Like the Resenter following their dragon god, the children of the Yin follow their treasured heroes. Even minor nobles contain vast lists of honorific titles detailing their insignificance to the point of significance. If these Yinnik knights and nobles are to be subservient to Ordent, they will require our part in their great game of hierarchical titles. While we will not stoop to their level of pettiness, it will not hurt if we selectively pick the finest titles of their greatest castles and holy sites. Uh, so we gain a permanent claim, claim on the Sarda region. Now we just need cliffs and cascades. Uh, we need one province owned by me, and I need to own this, but I need to own the gap. Okay, fair enough. I can do that. I can work on it, at least. Oh, thankfully, now we have a passageway so we can walk our troops up and down our entire country on this side so I don't have to boat them all the way around. Uh, let's go ahead and core everything there. We are almost our governing capacity limit, but... Uh, I just have to go over it and deal with that. Now, you guys just get into position to fight Malachnar. And these troops can get together to fight any rebels that pop up. 
You guys move forward. Uh, you go into port. There's no reason to have you out there. Well, be down here to help with that siege. Over here, it is still 66, so our truce with Marhold is not quite up yet. That expires in the, the ninth month, so it'll be a little bit. But let's look at the claims we got. Yeah, basically on the rest of their country, which is pretty cool. Also, is there a dam here? No, so I can't cross. Oof. Those dams are making it uh, difficult to walk around, that's for sure. All right, Rion Fort. It looks like the Plumsteader Separatists have crossed the border, and we instantly picked them off. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, move you... Ooh, where's the closest dam here? It's right there. Uh, how many troops do you have? Yeah, 16. Okay. Move you into uh, Revenbost. That way we can hit all sides of their nation at one time in one fell swoop. Makes it a quick war. Our guys over in the Deep Woods are ready to go whenever I give the word. Now, what I want from you, Telgir, is uh, everything. Yeah. Give me everything. Please. Cool. That's what I want. I do not think you deserve to be around anymore. All right, so we have another age bonus here. I think we get the harsher treatment cost reduction. That might actually come in handy, as we have lots of rebels. Uh, though we are in a position to deal with most of them. We won't go too hard in there. I would like to revoke some things here, like indebted to the Mar Marlorat Mar Malar Tack. Obviously that we can get rid of that from just, you know, paying off the debt, but we do have a decent chunk of debt now that will gladly pay it off through war and conquest. And, you know, the money we have right now them off as we go. Alright, that is that siege completed. Now we'll just go find their army and that will be hopefully the war? No, I will not be giving the traitors that much money. Thanks so. I'm good. That's a lot of money to just throw away. Let's chase them to wherever they're retreating. I have rebels that popped up somewhere. Question is, where were they? Lots of land. Must be in uh, the deep woods. Yes, they are. Uh, send you over, I guess. Look at that. We have a couple more months left until we have to go at good old Marhold, our buddies, our pals. Uh, stack wipe. And that is that war all done and dusted. Well, leave one troop. Go stack wipe that. And that should be more than enough war score to fully piece them out, even if I don't have Telgir under our control. So I didn't need to call my ally, but that's okay. Uh, actually, let's see. Did they help? Uh, they did. Never mind. Thank you, Rogeria. I, uh, I take back my statement. Okay, uh, let's take whatever money we can and go ahead and piece out the Vanbury Guild. Get on out of here. You are not welcome in my part of the world. Now, Isobelin, uh, go down. You are al you are a tributary state of Stan Riharda, and you are allied to Eberthil, which is actually good because we need a little province from them right here. It's a little bit blended in. Colors are pretty similar, so kind of hard to see. So let's go ahead and we actually we already have a claim here. It's a permanent claim. It is, so we can declare on them whenever we so feel like it. Uh, but we are going to be in enough wars for now, so let's just get these guys in a position to uh, do a bunch of rebel hunting. Let's make sure our ships are on this side, that way they can quickly get over here and deal with anyone that pops up. Let's deal with those 11,000 pesky boys. And we can go ahead and, I guess, yeah, we send Rogeria some soldiers and we core everything. Alright, why can we not core you? Because you are under siege. That makes sense. Okay. Well, at least we can core you now. Oh, no, it wasn't that province. Which one was it then? Ah. Yep, that uh, that makes sense. Happens every once in a while. We don't need to bring our heavies out for this one. Send the transports over. We can deal with the uh, 1,000 troops that have risen up. All right. Uh, now that you want money, I guess... Like, I know I called you into a war, but don't get greedy. 
Donkey Green. Wow, paying off that loan gave us an additional five ducats. Of That's insane. We have 20 ducats of interest. <laughs> Oopsies. All right, truce with Marhold is now up. They have one ally who will not join them. I'm pretty sure we're gonna we're gonna roll them. I mean, I don't know what gives me that idea. There is one thing that I have to be mindful of in this war, and that's not letting my troops die to rebels. And honestly, if that's my only problem, we're doing all right. Okay. Uh, you go ahead and split off and go take their capital. We'll put the siege guy on them, of course. That uh, level one fort is not going to do much to help them in that case. You guys uh, move over here. Try and catch that 2k stack. You split up and all of this down. Actually, no, you can go see to that one. I definitely want to do this as quickly as possible. That way, nobody jumps on them and is able to steal these provinces from me. All right, Maliknar, you're next. Gonna go for another Holy War. And we are going to split in half. Split in half. You guys stay closer together and split in half. Uh, unfortunately, no general available. We can take off this 141, which is our heir. Kind of a bad general, I'm going to be honest. I can also split you. Send you up north. There's no reason to have that many troops for rebel hunting. I can use Fey Alignment Interaction. I will go ahead and do that for the manpower. Not that we need it, but... Uh, to lower the unrest in our country. I could take military tech early. I don't see any reason to, though. I don't really care about the innovativeness. We have 35, uh, but it'd be very, very expensive to take it right now, so we will simply hold off. All right. Uh, that is a lot of occupations by me. Send you out there just to make sure we grab it. And there we go. That will be... That war completed. I know it might seem a little early, but uh, what in the world are they going to do? They got like 10k troops. Smashed them when they were strong, we'll smash them when they're weak. Alright, and that gives us everything in the woods. 58% coalition, no coalition. We love to see no coalitions. Uh, yeah. Uh, I can't do this yet, so I'm just going to click off of it. That way I don't get distracted. Keep clicking that button over and over and over again, because that is most definitely something I will do. Neurotica's back? How many times have they been annexed and then, like, released from Rebels? I know I annexed their land, and then Rebels broke me, because I wasn't able to get to them in time. And then I went and annexed them again, and now they're back. They got two provinces. There's a nation that refuses to die. I think it's appropriate. Don't they start out as that, uh, like, undead religion that's in here? The death cult of Shishosh? Yeah, Shishosh, or whatever. Uh, you have 16k troops right there. I'm going to hunt you down. Heresy! How dare you! Weeds in the garden. Though it, it doesn't convert. It just gives bad modifiers. Okay, well... I suppose it's better than it actually converting. Considering I went to a lot of work to convert all of the, you know, these in courts. We'll go ahead and force march you. You're going to Udal. Ah, you're actually running away. That's fine. Then group back up. No march. Go seize their capital down. You guys will go hunt their army. Yes, you do that. Go get him, Tiger. Go get him. Switch back over to the Deep Woods view of the war. Split up. Forward. Split up. Forward. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, that's 39,000 rebels. Uh, don't really want to mess with that. Now, what I do want to take next money. Yeah, that's one loan paid off right there. That's a lot of war score. I mean, we don't have anything better to do, right? Let's bring these troops together. That way we can deal with those rebels. I don't really like killing the AI's rebels, but uh, they threaten the war. They have to go. You. Yeah, you're just going to be chilling for a while. Just picking up rebels as they pop up. Sorry. 
I know you don't probably want to do that, but the Gnomish Overlord demands it. It must be done. Alright, now we split. And go ahead and teach everything. I mean, he's just kind of running away from his country. Totally abandoning it. <laughs> so, yep, I'm out of here. See ya. Alright, we'll catch their main army, and that should be a pretty good fight for us. Malachnar is strong. They've got uh, equal discipline. They're only two below, but uh, yeah, our tactics and morale are just so much higher. Malachnar Battle King Slain. Our soldiers cheer in triumph as the fearsome Battle King Vileron Yen Yok of Malachnar lies slain on the battlefield. Even the mightiest warriors are not invincible. Oh, so we killed their king. Is that like a special Malachnar thing where like if they're if they lose a battle, their king dies? Because that's intense. Alright, we are going to double check missions. Always need to double check missions. Uh, for anything we may need. That's all down the south. Um, Proclamation of Empire Reborn. Okay, so it doesn't look like I actually like need anything specifically here for Mission Tree, so we'll just bring it from that direction. Oh, very close to full annex, you know. Very, very close. But we will grab this dam right here. That way we can walk across freely. Yeah, I don't care about aggressive expansion. But w what are these guys going to do? Alright. Beautiful. Now Malachnar is just a, a little guy in our territory that we are protecting. That we are protecting him. Also, there's something there that I couldn't core? Is that what that just said? Nope. I am just going crazy. Okay, let's bring all troops together. Then we're going to send half of them up, and we're going to go at uh, Moonhaven Delaire. We're not slowing down. We are not going to be slowing down. Marhold, I'll do you a favor, bud. Do you a favor. Consider this an apology for all the bad things I've done to you. Yeah. The dead seek passage? Nah, turn them back. We are not even pretending to be friends with Malachnar anymore. I think that's pretty clear. Oh. That's a pretty highly developed province. At first I thought it was a, an urban province where there was a city. I was like, I don't remember there being a city over here. And that's because there isn't one. So that would make sense. Yes, yes, yes. Separatists, separatists, separatists. Okay, those separatists actually are kind of annoying. Oh, <laughs> let's go take care of those ones. But uh, the rest of them can just, you know, go away. Where are they popping up? Um... Yeah, in this region of the world. Okay. Go ahead and send half? No, more than half. Yeah. We only need 24,000 to deal with rebels here. We'll go up to Moonhaven. Uh, Moonhaven or Delaire, which is one war. Fully annex them. And then our truce with Truinic Delaire is also up. We can full annex them, and then it's going to be another annoying war against Laurent, from the looks of it, in order to take them. Also, Nymph's God, look at the gnomes! Yes, we love to see it! They beat up Gawed! I saw that they were in a war with Gawed earlier, but I didn't think they were actually going to win. They are being warned by Laurent, so, you know, classic gnomish game there. But, uh, hey, if Nymph's God's alive right now, and they're this kind of strong... Uh, we may see an AI with absolutely, like, no influence from me. Gnomish Hierarchy, which would be amazing. I think all they have to do is take back this state from Gwen, which the green scales currently hold. Uh, but they can't take it because I think they're locked in the caves. But yeah, I would love to see an AI Gnomish Hierarchy. That'd be amazing. Also, Bjarnrik, what's going on, buddy? You're just, you're getting, dying. Ugadir. Oh. Yeah, well, that would explain why you're dying. Uh, yeah, okay. We're going to pretend like we didn't see that. Uh, I don't really want to think about the dwarves that we're going to have to fight, as they are going to be quite the pain. All right, we can go ahead and pay off another couple loans here. We only have one loan left. Marhold has more than generously... Not more than just They have generously uh, volunteered 
to pay off for us, which I appreciate. That's very kind of them. Very, very kind. Uh, you guys just come back. Okay, yeah, we got lots of Separatists rising up now. Adoratus into court and country. Sucks for them. Uh, education for the poor, sure. They are quickly approaching the end of the episode, so I want to make sure that we uh, finish this out in a timely fashion. Move on in. And... Actually, we don't even need to. Yep, they will peace out for everything we want. So that is just double-checking all of their provinces in the deep woods. It's going to be ours. Again, I could push out. Don't really want to. Uh, yeah. Thanks. Oh, now we get that beautiful look of, like, the trees overlapping your <laughs> your country color for owning this. <laughs> uh, but we can go ahead and core it all. Still under both governing capacity and our overextension. We are just too good. We are too good. Uh, we do have some rebels that need to be um, taken care of, though. We'll send our guys back to do that. We should have our rebels rising up on this island pretty soon. In fact, we are going to go ahead and split our troops up and send this 11k back to deal with these rebels, which will definitely walk into our land so that way we can deal with them. You go ahead on rebel suppression. You can deal with everything up here in the north. Uh, I mean, it's a little bit beyond where I'd like you to go, but you'll survive. And then for you, uh, you don't need to be up here. Perfect, 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 perfect. Uh, and now we just can't core one thing over here because it is under siege, but that is what we're going to call it for today. All right, very successful. We have uh, basically taken over this region. Everybody's won war, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, 63. Oh, no, they're actually still 108. That's surprising. We can find a way to get our absolutism up a little bit. That could help. They're still actually two wars. They have a lot of development in here. A lot more than I thought. Yeah, down here in the south, it's, uh, it's pretty good. But we are slowly moving forward through our missions. Beautiful, beautiful nymphs god over here. Truly a great thing to see. Uh, I would like to thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.